Take a look at what we got growing in our greenhouse. The name horsetail, often used for the entire group, arose because of the branch species somewhat resembling a horse's tail. Now what we have here is scouring rush, but it certainly is a horsetail. And other names include candoc for the branching species, snake grass or scouring rush for the unbranched, sparsely branched species here. The Latin equisetums derive from the Latin equus, horse, and seda bristle um, is how it gets its name. And the rush-like appearance of these plants and the fact that the stems are coated with an abrasive silicate. Let's get a close-up in there. They're quite interesting, actually. But the abrasive silicates make them useful for scouring or cleaning, hence the scouring rush. And they're good for cleaning metal items such as cooking pots or drinking mugs, particularly those made of tin. The rough horsetail is still boiled and dried in Japan to be used for the final polishing process of woodcraft to produce smoother finish than any sandpaper. And in German, the corresponding name Zinkraut or tin herb. In Spanish speaking countries, these plants are known as cola de caballo, meaning horsetail. Equisetum leaves are greatly reduced and usually non photosynthetic, so they don't produce photosynthesis, which is very interesting. Now, the genus Equisetum as a whole, while concentrated in the non tropical northern hemisphere, is near cosmopolitan, being absent only from Antarctica. Though they, they are not known to be native to Australia and New Zealand, nor the islands of the Pacific, they grow there. And these plants are most common in North America, Canada, and the northernmost United States, where the genus is represented by nine species. Now, as far as consumption, people have regularly consumed horsetails. For example, the fertile stems bearing Stromboli of some species are cooked and eaten like asparagus, and you can eat all of them. These are a little old, and if I had a younger one, um, you could pick the young shoot coming out and peel the skin off and eat the inner portion. Uh, but this is pretty much non-edible, and, and this type, the scouring rush, would be used for drying and polishing, or cleaning pots. Um... So when they're fresh and young like that, they can be eaten like asparagus. In a dish called tsukushi in Japan, Native Americans in the Pacific Northwest eat the young shoots of this plant raw. And the young plants are eaten cooked or raw and are considered, a considerable amount of care must be taken. So you can only eat a small amount of this plant. It's typically only eaten in the spring when it's fresh like asparagus coming up. But if eaten over a long enough period of time, some species of horsetail can be poisonous, especially to grazing animals, including horses. And the toxicity appears to be due to thiaminase, which can cause thiamine or vitamin B1 deficiency. So be careful. Equisetum species may have been a common food for herbivorous dinosaurs. And this is, in fact, this plant right here is a living fossil and the only living genus of the entire subclass Equisetidae, for which over, over 100 million years, actually 200 million years, was much more diverse and dominated the understory of the late Paleozoic forests. Now, some Equisetids were large trees reaching up to 100 feet tall. The genus Calamites, for instance, of the family Calamitaceae, for example, is abundant in coal deposits from the Carboniferous period, even in Pennsylvania. The pattern of spacing of nodes in horsetails, wherein those towards the apex shoots are increasingly closer together, and would be the spacing of these joints, actually led to the idea um, by John Napier to invent logarithms. Isn't that weird? Now, modern horsetails first appeared during the Jurassic period, which began 200 million years ago, but really peaked about 100 million years ago. And despite centuries of use in traditional medicine, there is no evidence that equisetum has any medicinal properties, but it is a good pot scrubber. So, just a little piece on horsetail. And this one's the scouring rush. It grows much different outside. But, what are you growing?
click the subscribe button, share this with like-minded people, and plant yourself some peacock broccoli. It's looking fantastic. Be safe. We love you.